today we will show the what is the basic instrument details this is a power supply unit to give the power to the laptop motherboards if we don't have an adapter we can adjust the power supply through here okay we can give the different different powers up to 1 to 30 watt different power is there normally each laptop required 19.8 watt see it is in different different connectors you can connect a different socket for different connectors to different motherboards whatever you want you can connect like this and give the power supply this is a power supply unit here we can see the ampere what the consumption of the motherboard is there it will show here the ampere we will see the laptop motherboards uh, we will connect the motherboard like that see we give the power to laptop motherboards we will connect the socket related to it then we will give the power to the sockets see its consumption is now only 0.012 or 13 ampere milli ampere there is a battery and it is auto start so its consumption will be there we will start it will start like this so through the power supply on unit we can start the laptop also this laptop is a power supply unit to the laptop giving the power to the when we disconnect it the consumption is zero so we will use a different uh, connectors for different laptops see these are the different different sockets dc jack connection for dell for ibm lenovo and different different size connectors are there okay so we will use a power supply unit to give the power to laptop this is different types of screw driver sets we are using an electric screw driver to open or close screws it is a reverse bias or normal forward to open and reverse to close like this we will open like this we will just put when we want to open we will open like this each screw we will open like this so we can easily open it and when we want to close we will close or uh, go to forward then we will just put like this okay we can use the screw driver also there is a different different screws we can see the pointer it is a plus or plus or minus like this we will use a plus so we will use the plus pointer or ready made screw driver is also there this is ready made screw drivers and we can insert these also we can use this plus with this also we can open like this also whichever screw is there you can open like this also it is a manual process and it is an electronic we can see the screws different screws then we can use the screw driver depend on the screws we can open with the help of screw driver also or electric screw driver here is the speed whatever you we uh, want to adjust the speed we can speed adjust the speed so this is an electric screw driver to open to clean the motherboard we will use a brush or esd brush this is a esd brush and this is a normal brush when we open the laptop we want to clean the board we can use this rod also to clean the dust if there is a dust we can clean like this only or we can use this brush also this is a esd safe so if there is a dust in uh, near to ics or cpu socket we can clean like this also. this is esd safe and this is a normal color brush so we can use whatever you can use esd is the best option here we will clean like this motherboard or cpu or cpu fan anything we can clean so this is a, a brush for cleaning then we will go file these are the file if we cannot fit anything then we can file a screw or something bodies or panels or something we can use this file also and these are the screw drivers different different screw drivers we can use a screw uh, sorry we can use the tweezers also 
these are the different different tweezer size we can use to pull the screw to fit the wire to remove the sockets and all this these are the tweezers and this is a big handle screw driver for plus or minus like this these are the pointer screw drivers minus plus here we are using two multimeter this is a digital multimeters to measure the voltage or to check the resistivities this is a digital multimeters and this is an analog multimeters we can use a analog multimeters whatever you are uh, adjustable you can use it what is a suitable we can use a like this ohms or measurement of the ohms we can use like this we can check analog analog has an a volume it is not fixed here in a digital it will show the values and here we have to judge, uh, judge which values it is locating the bar see the uh, current will move like this the bar will move like this this is an analog multimeter this is an gloss to put on your face when you are working with the bga like this this is an hand gloss we can use a hand for if you are working on the esd or putting a motherboard on the hand we can use the esd set gloss we can put a gloss on the hand before working and then we can work the esd set like this now you can work whatever way it is a esd set so there is a no problem in the motherboard for the esd problems whatever you are working when you are keeping a board on a hand you can put a gloss for the esd set these are the basic tools for opening closing lcd opening body opening we will use a opener lcd opener or touch pad tablet openers all openers we can use these openers or we can uh, remove the stickers or something thin blade type openers are there different cutters are there you can use the cutters also if you want to cut use the cut something or we have to cut the wire or we can insert the cuts like that so these are the basic service tools for update uh, if you want to remove the lcds we will use the sockets to remove the lcds it will use when we put an lcd to pick the lcd like this to put the lcd this device use on uh, normally in the tablet tablet we are using this ipad to remove the lcds from top side we will use this and put the lcd on the top side like that so we can use this as a ipad or tablet and in some laptop also it will use so these are the basic instruments what we are using in the service level for a power supply opening electric screw drivers the pratt brushes the screws and all those devices for bias update and debug card we are using this device <clears throat> these are the debug debug card for desktop motherboard for laptop wifi or mini mini slots we are using this debug card is one options another we are using these also in some case for lpt debug card we will use this lpt debug card this is an lpt port we can connect on lpt and give the power supply then it will show the debug error and we can connect to wifi also this is an lpt port debug card okay these are the debug cards this is a desktop motherboard with lpt port debug cards four digit best option we are using p2dc these are a model p2088a plus we are using these also and for laptop we are using these and these in some case we have to make a jumper also for jumper setting they have given the pin we will connect to iuic we can make the jumper also so these are the debug cards now for the bias update we will use a different device one we are using the nano bias it is a very cheap and easy to program but it will use an lpt port on a computer you can connect there is an 8 port soip 8 plate ics and another is a desktop motherboard it will mainly use on desktop motherboard and in laptop which has an 8 pin ic and in this we have an one socket also we can connect the socket in which we can use a 32 pin and 40 pin ic is also these are the debug uh, nano bias with the usb slot 
it will work on LPT port, we can connect the desktop motherboard or laptop 8 pin ICs or 32 pin or 40 pin ICs. This is a very cheap nano BIOS. Further if you go, it will be coming an L90, it will be like this, L90. We can connect the ICs here also, 4 leg, PPLCC and all those different connectors are there, we can connect the ICs. When we connect to software, it will go to the jumper settings, we can connect the jumpers also and it is also used in the USB plus LPT port. It will connect through the parallel port and USB connection. So these are the L90 Nano BIOS. Okay. Next, if you go on the further V1, we are using the Flash Pro 400 plus BIOS programming. It is an automatic. Here different different sockets are there. PLCC 8A 32 pin. We can connect on these sockets and we will just program it. It will automatically uh, select the file, we will update the BIOS to this Flash Pro 400 plus. So we are using these also for the BIOS updates. These are the normal service training. We are not shown the parts for the BGA reporting. These are the normal for instruments what we are using for the service level, level 1. Okay. Next portions we will show you the BGA level in which we will show the BGA ball, stencil and all those BGA machines that demo we will show you. It is only for the BGA normal service level instruments what we are using in our service centers. Thank you. This is Abdul Khan sir from Intersoft.